Welcome to video two. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the species migration section of the Bird Migration Explorer in greater detail and to answer common questions. To begin, you find a bird species by clicking on the orange bird species button or choosing bird species from the top of the screen. This opens up the bird species explore panel. Here I can scroll through the 458 different species included in the explorer and click on one that interests me. I can also filter to find a species of interest, or I can type a species into the search bar. Today I'm looking for the American golden plover. This takes me to the annual migration of the American golden plover shown using tracking data and eBird models. To learn more about what I'm viewing on this map, I can take a look at the map layers panel. Here, this tells me that tracks shown in yellow are high precision data from GPSs and other similar devices. Tracks shown in purple are from low precision devices called light level geolocators. And geolocators don't provide accurate data during the equinox periods, so that's when they're shown as a gap in tracking data. The gray lines in the background show me every individual tracked bird journey. The abundance of the species is shown as brown dots of varying sizes, which are derived from eBird models. And finally, I have species ranges by season. Here in this box, I can turn data layers on and off, and I can click show descriptions to read more about what each layer is. At the bottom is a timeline where I can play and pause the map. I can grab a hold of this blue bar to move it to any part of the year that I'm interested in. I can also click the sides of the blue bar to expand it out over a larger slice of time. So if I would like to see where the golden plover is most abundant during spring migration, now I can take a look. The largest dots are showing me areas of very high abundance. I'm gonna zoom in and when I do, the hexagon boundaries will appear to show me the area that that abundance is being summarized across. If I zoom in far enough, then these data will resolve into a finer resolution. On the sidebar, I can click conservation statistics to learn more about the golden clover. I can see its climate vulnerability rating from survival by degrees, its global population size and watch list status from partners in flight, and its red list category from IUCN and BirdLife International. The related stories section takes me to content by Audubon and our partners about this species and challenges that it faces. There are three available maps for the golden plover, the species migration map that we're viewing now, species connections, which we'll cover in video three, and conservation challenges, which we'll cover in video four. If I wanna know more about the methods or proper interpretation of this map, I can click learn more about this map to open up the about section. External links at the bottom will take me to the Audubon field guide or the BirdLife International data zone. If I want to know more about the individual data sets that built this map, I can click on the data providers box. And if I want to share this map, I can click the share button and get a link. Choosing this checkbox will save my exact view to share with someone else. That's it for this video. Join us for the next one to learn about locations and connections.